Okay, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are in Cindy's playroom because today we are tackling, cleaning it up, getting more organized. It's insane after the holidays and I know all of you guys, I say all because I've gotten so many messages from you guys saying that it's the same in your boat. After the holidays, birthdays, etc. There's just a lot of stuff everywhere. So. Cindy's playroom is a disaster. We got holidays, we got holidays. Holidays is like Christmas. You got a lot of stuff for Christmas, huh? So we gotta find some spots for all your toys so we don't trip and fall. We don't lose things. No, she didn't work. Um, I just have plans on finding spots for things and getting it off the floor. Um nothing too crazy like labels and crazy things like that but just we'll we'll get there okay something simple um we've got a lot of shelves a lot of bins um so yeah let's just get that all situated so if you guys like these videos and it helps you get motivated give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel my name's Haley. this little girl is sydney and we do all kinds of motherhood lifestyle just vlogs videos uh cook with me's videos like these lots of stuff she's wild and crazy clearly just had lunch so we've got a lot of energy let's go all right kiddo this is what we're gonna do we're gonna organize all of your kitchen food so if you see food on the ground let's put it in one of these baskets okay. oh, that goes in your ice cream cart can you put that in your ice cream cart so the first thing I did was tackle all of the small things on the floor. We started with putting away all of the pretend food where it belongs, um, and I enlisted Sydney's help for the most part. She was fairly helpful. Um, she likes to participate in whatever mommy is doing, and the, when she knows where things are, um, it makes my life easier too. She's pretty particular. If something's supposed to go somewhere, she insists on putting it there. So um, that is why I enlisted her help. And obviously um, I did this while she was awake. So we started again, just organizing all of her kitchen stuff and putting all of that away. What you did was meaningless. What's the point of you calling? put all of your dolls in one bin then I was tackling these bins which just got overwhelmed with different parts of different toys in every bin so I decided to um, kind of make some rhyme or reason and one bin was dedicated to all of her dolls um, and then this bin just I just needed to dump everything out which obviously does not set a great example for her but I needed to start fresh and just put all like items and pieces of toys that belong together in these bins Also, while I was cleaning out all of these bins, I decided to take pieces that were broken or parts of toys that were broken or like things that were just completely missing um, or that she doesn't play with and put those in the trash. Um, the things that were good that she didn't play with, I did save a bunch of her baby toys and then I also have a little bit to go towards um, Goodwill, but Sydney plays with 
almost every single toy that she owns. And for right now, we're not donating or purging a ton um, because she does play with them all. But yes, eventually we will be purging um, a bunch of things. I just don't feel right when she does play with them all. Baby doll goes in there. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? All stuffed animals go in this one. Okay, all stuffed animals. Any stuffed animal you see, put it in here, please. Okay, stuffed animal goes in there. Oh, oh, oh. Stuffed animal goes in there. Good job, put them in there. Okay. Oh, I saw my dad's Good job. Sydney has so many stuffed animals, but she has inventory on every single one and sleeps with a different one every night and plays pretend with them. It's just her thing. She's always loved stuffed animals. So I filled one of these big plastic bins that I got from Target. Um, and they're like $8, I believe. I have two of them. I just filled one big one full of stuffed animals and I'm keeping that downstairs. And then the second half of the video, you will see I brought a bunch of stuffed animals upstairs because she also has a little bit of toy storage upstairs um, in her bedroom. And that is where um, she like picks her stuffed animal to sleep with for the evening. Just about to tackle this area and I, I looked over here and look she's got all the purple letters over there We're gonna find the cover to that one. All right, so it is a couple of days later. We lost daylight and then yesterday we were busy running other errands. So I am tackling the rest of the playroom today. It looks kind of like a disaster because I left it. Um, but my plan is to complete it today and tackle like the big things. Um, but we are making progress even though it still looks like a disaster. Okay, so I'm bringing these bins down from Sydney's room um, and we are filling these with stuffed animals. Sydney has a thousand and one stuffed animals, but she sleeps with a different one every night and she picks one upstairs. So I figured I would, yeah, Moana actually goes in the doll bin. Can you put Moana in the doll bin, please? Um, so I figured that we would rotate and put, bring all these stuffed animals upstairs so she does pick a different one every night. Hey, 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 um, I want one. Eventually we'll donate, but right now she's, she does kind of play with them all, and that's her thing. Okay? You can help. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's put all the stuffed animals in these bins. Hey, hey, Dad, there's nothing there. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. Hey. Okay, here. There, now these can go upstairs, and then we have a whole lot more room in these bins. Mommy, can you get more? I absolutely love Sydney's little dress up stand. We got this a little while ago, I would say over a year ago and it just spins. And this is what holds all of Sydney's dress up, um, little toys, headbands, like necklaces and all of that. It just 
provides an awesome storage unit for dress up. Um, I will have it linked down below if I find it. The next thing I tackled were the big bins down at the bottom here. I just emptied every single thing from them and I took all of the little things out and I decided to only put the bigger items in these bins that uh, don't necessarily fit great um, in the little cube unit I have there. So that is what I am doing now. What you're putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding All right, so everything in here is gonna be things that um, need like supervision or my help to play with, like finger paints. We've got all of her Play-Doh in here, dot markers, regular markers, water beads, kinetic sand, that type of stuff. No, not today, baby. Oh, um, yeah, actually the snowman kit we can do too, cause that just fits, will fit perfectly. And, um, I might actually end up getting two more of these so that when I put them up there, they will all like flow. Honestly, I would rather have them not see through, but it makes it easier to kind of remember what's in what bin. That's fine. Yeah, the other one's full. The other one has all the games. Yeah, let's show them. We got all of the puzzles in here. All the board. Oh, oh, I want paper my cup. Okay, all the board puzzles. Okay, honey, hang on. Ooh, happiness requires work every day. And then I thought these little bins were perfect for all of Sydney's flashcards. She has a bunch of them and they all fit perfectly in one. And then in another bin, I ended up putting all of her bubbles. For some reason, she had a ton of bubbles. And then in the other one, she has some matching and memory games. Just they're like little, so they fit perfectly in those. So in the other one of this, I'm putting all the arts and crafts, coloring, stickers type of things. Um, and I do need to go in and just organize it a tiny bit. It's oh, not like the most organized stickers. thing, but oh, yeah, drawing oh, pads, stickers, stickers my, coloring books. Oh, I put stickers, two stickers. Yeah, that is what goes in this bin. I find, I find two stickers. <gasps> oh, <Yeah. laughs> your bag. So I got this little container from the Dollar Tree and I just put all of Sydney's crayons in here. Um, it's a good storage solution. These boxes are always like ripping and breaking. So I've got all the washable Crayola, 
crayons in there. Um, I guess we could put those in there even though they're not like the washable ones. This is what this bin ends up looking like. I've got like just paper, construction paper and whatnot. All of her just kind of drawing water mat, um, stickers, coloring books, all in there. And then I'll throw those in there too. Okay, so this is what Sydney's playroom looks like at the moment. I've got all of her cleaning stuff around the corner here, pots and pans, tea sets, all of her um, food is all put away where it's supposed to be for now. Okay. I'm just trying to find a spot for everything and so far, so good. All of these are organized with every toy has its home and all the parts that, it is honey. All the parts that belong to each toy are in bins. Um, and then this bin is like all of her dolls and doll accessories. Um, and then all of like the bigger kind of toys, but not, they're like medium sized toys, not big enough to go in here or in there. Um, and vice versa, we've got like all the balls and whatnot in there. And dress up station is nice and full. In this bin, I put all of her bags and purses. She has like backpacks and things like that. And then, yeah, this area is, I mean, it doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing, but you know, we have a lot of like awkward, bigger size toys that go in these bins. Um, and then all kinds of stuffed animals in that one. Okay, honey. And then over here is a little bit like, there's like three toys. Um, her Elsa castle is kind of big. Um, so it's just tucked away over here and then her other little castle and uh, just a couple of things over there. Uh, yeah, for the most part though, I really, really like it. I love how um, these bins are for puzzles and like arts and crafts. And these bins help a ton. I think I am gonna get another one because these are all her Kiwi boxes. Um, in this bin and I think I'm just gonna switch it out and put them in like a bin like that from Target So yeah, that is gonna do it for today's like toy organization playroom organization and cleanup So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you in the next one Bye.